And we're still on the aftermath of the NSAS protest, but this time from the United Kingdom Parliament. Aside seeking sanctions against those who could be found culpable in the invasion of the NSAS protest ground in Lekki, Lagos, by soldiers and the shooting that followed, UK Parliament is also concerned about how development funds received by Nigeria are spent. This is part of the issues that arose while the parliament debated the e-petition that demanded the condemnation of the shooting in Lekki, an incident that turned the once peaceful NSAS protest on its head. TV News Uzona Onoye revisits um, this issue in our reports. Relating to Nigeria and the, sanctions regime. They called Civilian. the petition marked 554140 relating to Nigeria and the sanctions regime was signed by more than 220,000 persons. It was prompted by what the parliamentarians termed disturbing events in Nigeria over recent weeks, which began with protests over the activities of police special unit known as the Special Anti Robbery Squad. For strength and respect for human rights, the rule of law. Leader of the debate pointed out several violations of human rights by SARS operatives to have pushed the youth to the streets, that even when government stepped in with a promise, the trust deficit between the people and their rulers drowned the possible gain. The debate recognized that the NSAS protest widened with passing days beyond the initial concerns about policing. Lekki shooting is disputed, but the account of the Amnesty International, which says that 56 people have died since the protest began, was enough for the parliamentarians to rely on. The shootings at the Lekki toll gate have sent shock through many in Nigeria. For many, it seemed like the last straw. The government there has promised judicial panels of inquiry to investigate what happened. But there is widespread skepticism about whether these processes will be effective in holding to account those responsible for the bloodshed and the human rights abuses which have occurred. It's a pleasure to speak they to asked the UK government, government to impose targeted sanctions on those found culpable. In the case where Nigerian officials are avoiding accountability over the killings of protesters, I believe that the UK should be looking to impose sanctions on state officials involved in the human rights abuses. We must also take this opportunity to look beyond sanctions to a way in which development funding is spent in Nigeria. And then Some shaded optimism in what Nigeria can become was not swept away. Sadly, this is a country whose wealth, not just in the oil off the river state, but in the imagination of cr and creativity of its people is witnessed every day in Nollywood and perhaps more my style at the great university of Joss could be. The parliamentarians demand an end to the freezing of, of bank accounts and purported harassment of promoters of the protests. They pointed out the conspiracy of silence by men in authority over the years while citizens were being brutalized as being the stroke that broke the camel's back. Uzonna Ononye, TVC News, Lagos.